South Carolina, to Tennessee, riding all over. Uh, I had a fairly decent week, still dispatching myself, but uh, I believe in a few weeks we're gonna have a, have somebody come on, help me out with that, and um, I can sit there and scope them load boards for me while we're. Uh, while I'm driving, so I don't have to. A little bit harder to be watching load boards driving a peak rolling 80,000 pounds than a, than a, uh, a hot shot at 26. Taking old Jackson there for a ride. Been gone all week. I'm gonna pull this down so it won't be so damn shaky on you guys. But anyway, um, yeah, I did my first eight foot drop tarp load Wednesday uh, man let me tell you whew, I ain't handled them things in a long time but <clears throat> my appointment was at um, 4 30 in the morning well it's five o'clock I got there at 4 30 Bennettsville South Carolina and uh, anyway the shipping clerk on the night shift didn't understand what a drop shipment was because what my pickup number said, where it said it was going, wasn't the same. Um, I was taking it to Knoxville, Tennessee, and their paperwork said Indiana. I was like, yeah, this is a drop shipment. You know, they, the company in Tennessee ordered it from the company in Indiana. The company in Indiana is buying it from you, and they're shipping it straight to them. That's that's the way that works. Well, you're gonna have to wait till. Seven o'clock when the first shift lady comes in and uh, we'll get it straightened out then. So uh, it was about 7.30 uh, when they finally started, well, got me in to load and then uh, got me loaded. Then I scaled out and I was overweight after I tarped it, bungeed it, strapped it the whole nine yards and back back in take the back half off well roll it back take the unit off do it all over again go back out there and get my weight right so I ended up rolling up to Knoxville and um, I got to uh, that pilot up there I think that's a 398 where I stayed at anyway got up there and um, about 7 o'clock I guess 7 p.m. and we uh got us a shower and got us something to eat there at the subway and, uh, anyway went to bed sleeping real good and I'll be damned bump 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 about 3 30 in the morning now, what do you know it's a lot lizard well I thought I was hearing things uh, when I woke up uh, I looked out the front you know and didn't see nothing put my head on up there in the cab, you know, look down the side the mirrors, you know, see what was going on. Didn't see nothing. So I sat back down on the bunk, you know. It's like, what the hell? And I'm down. If I didn't see her ass come out between two trucks over there on the other side. And, uh, but anyway, the old lot lizard up there trying to sell some hooch at 3.30 in the morning. But I wasn't buying but uh, I'm gonna have to get me one of them stickers to put on my little um, little door there on the side. Sleeper door. I mean, a big old lizard with red circle around it with the slash through it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we got that dropped off. It was a load of some damn particle board or something, but um, got that dropped off. And I'd booked a load on my way up through Landstar uh, to go pick up at um, this old uh, this old mill, this old wood mill. Uh, I mean, it's still in operation and all, but um, um, they were getting rid of some old electric motors and stuff, and I'll picture, uh, show you that, and, uh, and I'll put a little cut-in clip here, but anyway, uh, it was pretty tight up there uh, getting in, so... Um, but if you'll notice, uh, I ain't got no trailer hook in my truck. Cause it's hooked to that truck in that shed over there. 
Man, that's so tight in there, man. Oh, dang. Glad that day cab was here. Loading up some old, uh, some old material in this mill. Taking it to a, uh, a, uh, scrap yard down in Gastonia. Shit, I've been here about damn two and a half hours. Already. Dang. Anyway, the old boy said, hey, how much can you haul? I said, 48,000. He said, if I give you a couple hundred extra, can you take more? And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not paying an overweight ticket. So, uh, but anyway, um, I'll see if I can't get a shot of uh, my trailer hooked to that. But when they backed it in, it's so tight in there, they had to take a crane and uh, chain up to the ass end of the trailer and pick it up about six inches off the ground and slide it over. That's how tight it is. So I noticed this sleeper truck wouldn't be able to get it in there. All right, later. Wiry, look at all them wire, yee! I was there for about four hours, I guess. And uh, what I thought was pretty cool was uh, the guy that was running the whole show, he, uh, he said, don't try to hit me up for detention. I know your first two hours are free, but don't try to hit me up for detention. He said, I'm going to go ahead and take care of it right now. He gave me a crisp $100 bill, come on. And uh, what I thought was cool when I first got there, because um, I come in the gate and I had to wait for him to come out and bring me in. Well, when he come up, he said, uh, you know, introduced himself and all that stuff. And I was like, you got to have a hard hat in here. He's like, yeah, you got one? I was like, yeah, I got one, but I got one of them old wore out white ones, man. Just scratched all the shit. I said, but man, I wish I had a cool one like you got on. He said, well, when we get done, we come back out to my truck, uh, come back out the gate. He said, uh, I'll give you one. I got another one just like it. I was like, man, you ain't got to do that, but I, I appreciate it. So anyway, when we left, we scaled out. Uh, we went out a different gate, so I'd already rolled on down the road, and I called him to see how early I could be at the um, scrapyard in Gastonia. And he said, you can be there around 7, 7.30. He said, I should be there by then. He said, but you make sure you look for me or at least look me up before you leave. He said, uh, I forgot to give you that hard hat. I was like, man, I appreciate that. So <clears throat> the next morning, uh, well, Friday morning, today, uh, I showed up. Yeah, he come out there uh, to sign his paperwork and stuff. I did a handwritten shipper. Um, he come out there to sign his paperwork and he brought that uh, hard hat out there. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's so damn cool that it matches my truck. Woo wee! Got me a big old orange hard hat matches my truck. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so we had a good week, man. Um, I came home empty because I uh, got a little bump up under the floorboard on my truck and uh, you, you can feel it up under the cab. So uh, last weekend, me and uh, my buddy Randy, we, we got up, oh, got a state trooper coming. Let me put y'all down. Ha! Back to normal. But anyway, uh, we jacked the front end of it up. And, took a little weight off him front springs and uh, yeah we're gonna put new uh, bushings and pins in tomorrow and um, I put some new hood rollers on the uh, passenger side they's a little wore out but that ought to handle that but um, yeah that's what we got going on this weekend um, but I just want to shoot y'all a pretty quick little video. Let you know I'm going to have a dispatcher coming on in about two weeks. Uh, Peter Mobile still doing good. Had a good week. Um, 
wore my old ass out tarping a load, uh, but uh, wasn't too bad. Um, but anyway, uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll get another video out to you next week. Later.